future value annuity and makes a deposit of $6,000 in an account and continues to make monthly deposits of $150 at the end of every month for a period of three years. The account pays interest at the rate of 6% compounded monthly. At the end of the second year, she makes a one-off with the draw of $2,500. Find the future value of this annuity. So our first step is to have a description of what Anne was doing with her account. And we are told that at the beginning, she made a deposit of 6000 And then at the end of every month, she would put in $150. And she would do that for a period of time. And then she came at one point and she had to withdraw $2,500. But remember, she continued with her deposits until the last time period that we have uh, given. So what's the relationship between this time and this time? This is uh, two years. And then we have a period of one year from year to year. So let's see how we can approach this problem. We want to look at the solution in two parts. One of them is we can call this the future value one and then the future value two. And how does that work? We want to see how much money she had accumulated by this time. And then we'll be able to see how much money she'll be having at the end of the time period. So the FV1 will be given by the amount that Anne had made, which is 6000 because we want this 6000 we want to bring it to this time period. And then we take the 150 deposits that she was making every month, Next to power 24, minus 1. And then we subtract the 2,500 so that we know how much money she'll be having in the account at the end of the second year. And this takes is 8,077.75. Now, this is at the end of the two years. This is the amount in the account. To get the future value to, or which is the future value, we'll take this 8,075, and then we compound it. Then we'll be adding up the amount that he deposited for the next 12 months, which is given by 150,000, divided by 0 0.005, so it is 1.005 to power 12 minus 1. And if you do that computation, this will give us a total of 10,426.30. So this is the amount of money that Anne accumulated in the account. So we could say in a nutshell, this is what happened. And deposited 6,000 and at the end of the month she would put in 150 and that went on for two years. At the end of the two years she had to make a withdrawal of $2,500 and how much money was left into the account? We have seen it was 8,077.75 and then she continues to make a, a deposit of $150 until the last deposit of $150. And we've seen that after that, what was in the account will be 10,426.3. So that is the total amount of money that is there. And so this is the future value. So the future value will be equals to 10,426.30. The other part I didn't mention about is I was using 0.05. Remember 6%.
is per annum. So monthly was equals to 6% of 12, or which is 6 over 1200, which is 1 over 200. And 1 over 200 is 0 0.005. And that's the figure that I was using as the interest rate uh, to be able to do that computation. So Anne will have 10,426.20 in the account. 10,426.20 in the account.